Hello, and welcome back to Harlan is in Danger. I'm your host, Mitch, and today I'm joined, as always, with my good friend and co-host, Tom. I'm also here, and in a slightly different location, because I'm also cooking. Uh, and you may hear some beeps or something, and if we don't edit those out. <laughs> but we're also just going to try and go fast. So, hey, we're looking Indeed. at some cards from... I had it. Weaver of the Weaver, Cosmos. Weaver of the Cosmos. I remember... <laughs> I almost said where the gods dwell again. That was going to be so cocky. <laughs> I almost did too. And I was like, ah, that's all right. <laughs> no, we don't want to talk about that one. No more. No more talking about where the gods dwell. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to speak of that scenario until our inevitable review of the whole campaign. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So cards from Weaver of the Cosmos. Uh, first up, we got the Guardian card Spiritual Resolve, which is mm -hmm. a myriad card that soaks damage. And that's kind of all it does. And then you can yep. heal it. Mm -hmm. And it takes up an arcane slot. This is a good card. It is good. Yeah, 5 XP, you get 3 copies, uh, plenty of soak, and then you can discard the extra copies you get to heal up the damage and horror. Because, I mean, you get plenty with 3 and 3, I think, just for 1. So being able to just throw the others away and heal off 2 and 2, it's still pretty good value and saves you the resources. Yeah, I think this card's excellent. I also put it in my mark deck, so we're going to see it in play. Nice. All right. Next slide. We have the Seeker cards, Abigail Foreman and the Eye of Truth. Um, I have like no thoughts about Abigail Foreman besides that she costs 4 XP or VP or whatever. And I don't actually know what she does. So, <laughs> Well, you attach a book to her and then uh -huh. when you use the action ability on the book, you exhaust her to do that action ability again for free. So it's an extremely interesting effect, but uh, it's kind of, I don't know, she's, I think she's worded fine, but there's too many tomes that don't have an action activate ability mm -hmm. in my mind. So it feels like it's, it, you have to have a very specific card in mind you want to do this with. Like doing old Book of Lore twice is great, but do you need to do it twice in a turn? I, yeah, I feel like that card's already good enough and you kind of, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of any other book that has an action ability. Divermis Mysterious. Yes. You probably don't want to activate it <laughs> twice. <laughs> I don't think you want to do that either. You could do Encyclopedia twice, I guess. You could get yeah. plus four to a stat if you really needed to pass something. But yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think for me, I just want to see Abigail Foreman in a Silas Marsh deck because in the novel or the novella, it's Silas Marsh and uh abigail foreman go on a quest and an adventure together and See, that would be cool but it's like impossible to make that happen i remember that novella but i didn't know it was abigail foreman i always just thought it was like daisy or something like just nah. not da it was a not her. daisy but it was basically daisy <laughs> 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 so it's funny i like um, i'm playing through a uh, campaign with my friend kind of introducing him to the card game and i'm playing mm -hmm. a silas and he's daisy and i'm just like yeah we're going on adventures together <laughs> just like That's the book awesome. just, just like the actually. book except nothing like it <laughs> um yeah and then eye of truth is great i love this it's card. amazing yep yeah this card you will not regret it it will force you to pass basically any treachery and then every time that treachery comes up it just is invalid it can't do anything unless you auto fail it that's the only bad way thing that could potentially happen but that's yeah. always bad yeah so yeah i, I think it's a, this is just a fun card um yep and like you make if you get it early you'll just make your teammates happy even if you're just like throwing it on rotting remains or grasping hands mm -hmm. probably grasping hands if i'm being honest because <laughs> uh, you're because you're a seeker yeah. and still a little selfish mm -hmm. yeah yep great card mm -hmm. okay let's check out mystic cards so we have mind's, mind's eye, eye and shining trapezohedron um these are both interesting i think mind's eye is very good you're already building up your willpower and this just lets you use nothing but willpower it is kind of stingy with how many secrets you get but i think it's appropriately balanced to make sure that you're not abusing it and so you're still going to have odd tests that you take with your other stats where you'll risk it but it does give you an extreme amount of a, of power to leverage. It's both your arcane slots, though. So you're kind of just doing a weird, like you're not spell casting if you're playing this. You're doing something else. Yeah, I don't really know who wants this. Is my Patrice? Patrice is loves it, this. 
I, I, I tried playing it in Patrice and just didn't really find it. I found the Empower Cells really? a lot better in Patrice. Um, oh. I don't know why. Um, well, she has that Survivor, so I guess that can work. But with Patrice, you get, you know, a couple of things to boost your willpower, Peter Sylvester and a Holy Rosary. And then what you do is you can just refill this because the Mind's Eye will keep showing up in your deck. So you have a surplus of secrets to work with. I suppose. I see that. I do mm -hmm. see that. I don't play Patrice very often. Um, mm. I don't know why. Just when <laughs> I played with her like the first couple of times, she still didn't click with me. So I was like, I'll move on. Uh, I like Shining Trapezohedron a lot. I think this is a, such a fun card. Um, I don't know why. I And I may have like, I may not be playing it right. So I played it in a Dark Horse Agnes deck. Uh, mm. parallel, par parallel Dark Horse Agnes. So you can kind of see where this is going. Just reducing the no. cost to reduce the head test. But then I read somewhere online that you have to still have the resource co resources to play it before activating Shining Trapezohedron. So I may have been cheating. Oh, that is very lame. That should not be. Yeah, because I don't know if I agree with it. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with it, um, but I may have mm. cheated. But it was a really fun deck without that. Because you just took a damage to reduce the cost by two, and then you'd be playing spells, spell events, shuffling them back into your deck for free, and test taking like advantage of uh, willpower zero tests. It was great. Wait, it reduces the cost of the spell by two by taking the damage. So why would you need this? You've already reduced the cost, so it's cheap already. Because then the head test is easier. A head test is a zero head or a zero willpower test. So you can stack things like... like fearless or uh, other weird cards that proc with that i feel like i would just play my spectral razor for zero cost and then throw my oh i guess i can't throw my fearless into that test but like i'm gonna have willpower test to take i don't need an extra willpower <laughs> test to proc look if i want that you, i'm gonna get an alchem also, alchemical transmutation that's what i'll get no, no, no. you also <laughs> stay in dark horse though because you don't have the resources uh, i guess it's i don't know it's weird and it was fun and I have This is a fun saved. deck that doesn't work. It's a work, fun and deck I wish that may, may may not work. I support I'm not you. really sure. <laughs> <laughs> I support this deck. I think it's interesting and I would play it. <laughs> it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um it, FFT it probably doesn't agree. Have... But whatever. Yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> uh, this All is also right. the one that I had that Relic Hunter and um was using her signature a lot too. So I had oh, Shining okay. Crap as a Hadrian gotcha. and her signature and I was just drawing cards, playing cards taking tests to play them instead of playing hmm. re using resources. So I also used a lot more expensive spells than Spectral Razor. Like, I used a lot of Storm of Spirits. Gotcha. Which did do a lot of damage to me, too. I will admit that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the Survivor cards. We have the Nightmare Bobble and Scavenging. And then the Dream Parasite is obviously something that's bonded to the Nightmare Bobble. It allows mm -hmm. you to cancel auto-fail tokens, which is a very coveted aspect, in my opinion. I think Nightmare Bobble is probably one of the best cards in the game. It just never so happens it. that I never play it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I can't afford it. I can't make room with my other accessory slots. Like this thing basically reads a 6 XP and also find some card to dig through your deck to actually find it because it's only limit one per deck. It's so not it's just is it? No, it's but just, it's, it's, just... it's 6 XP because I need the Relic Hunter. I probably oh, have yeah, yeah, yeah. a really good uh, Relic or I, a Charm slot already taken so now i have to make room for this and it's just all of that just becomes an absolute pain in the ass and then i end up just not bothering it's not worth it i just do something else which is a shame yeah. because i think it's cool but i think the abilities they just discourage me from playing it they don't like it feels like so much work to just get this thing into play i guess it's powerful so it doesn't you know it has to be a real big negative but yeah yeah i hate that it's cursed like, I feel like it'd be so much more interesting if it was blessed and Father Mateo could play it. <laughs> he could just cancel the auto fail. It's like five times over. <laughs> That's like, but that so would be like cool. With so, many, with so many like new blessed and cursed investigators stepping on his niche, like that has mm -hmm. become his niche is like being able to I cancel agree. the auto fail and being mm -hmm. able to trigger his elder sign. So, if I, yeah, this is this is from I'm the cool point of looking at Hemlock Veil cards. We're starting to look at Hemlock Veil cards. I know you mm -hmm. haven't done any spoiler looking at, but I've looked at a couple of them. Yeah. Um, and I think if this were put out today, it would probably be blessed instead of cursed. But mm -hmm. I mean, I guess yeah, because thematically, 
Yeah, they're just thinking about the thematics. I mean, it doesn't add curses to the bag, which if it was printed today, that's probably what it would do. It's just, you know. But the dream parasite is literally a curse. <laughs> it is a curse. I guess it's just like a mandatory curse that you're doing now. Yeah. Right? But also it pings you for a damage and a horror if you fail the that's test, true. which you're probably that's going true. to do now. That's true. And I guess canceling the auto fail, but canceling the auto fail feels like a blessed thing to do. Like I can see the dream parasite being yes. cursed and the okay. canceling the and the nightmare bobble being blessed. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Hmm. And maybe it gets the paradox trait. I don't I don't know. Yeah. Traits are weird. I'm also just avoiding talking about scavenging two because I hate it. <laughs> I despise scavenging two. That card should not exist. I hate everything about it. There's the only thing I like about it is oh wait, wait no. That's, that's I'm thinking of a different card entirely. Yeah, so there's nothing I like about this. Yeah, yep. I feel like I discovered <laughs> scavenging when when Edge of the Earth came out. I was like discovering scavenging with Bob, who can't play scavenging too. And then I realized there's an upgraded version of this card that's stupid, and mm -hmm. I could play it in any survivor besides Bob, who is a survivor. I don't like scavenging uh, one either, though. I just don't like scavenging. I don't like thematically what it says. It doesn't make sense to be in Survivor. It's it's literally a succeed by two or more. In what scenario are you trying to succeed as a survivor? That makes no sense. It should be after you fail a skill test by a certain I would amount. Like, you can exhaust like it and get a, a compensation. Yeah, yeah, I would like that a lot more thematically. Um, yeah. Because it's like, you didn't find the clue, but you found a knife. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. You found this broken crappy knife but there you go you got something out of it now it's up to you to make use of that um or even if it was just like you find like supply tokens i mean i know that supply tokens aren't used very much but assuming yeah. they were or something like that you know you just get to refill some tokens somewhere that would yeah, be like oh yeah, okay yeah. that's kind of cool um ammo especially now you ammo or really supply cool. yeah i could see that so that's what it should do so i just refuse to play this card because it's unless i'm playing a rogue with the survivor and then it's just a rogue card to me so so preston preston <laughs> or wendy because <laughs> they are allowed to succeed by two or more as rogues not as survivors uh, cool yeah <laughs> whatever <laughs> all right let's speaking of rogues let's take a look we got joey the rat vigil level three and sawed off shotgun joey the rat vigil they... you what I like Joey the Rat Vigil, level three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like his upgrade a lot. I don't think I've really had a chance to use it much, but I like that because his original was just so expensive. It was just resource after resource to... Uh, it was just too much. This one... Yeah. Excuse me, I think this one's good, though. This seems like it's more fair. He just needed the XP to like make him a reasonable yeah. purchase. Yeah, I think... Yeah, and he's really fun because like, he'll just... He'll, he'll just sell him like your old used up stuff. And he's like, sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's like one, there's only like one item in Rogue that doesn't have consumables. Am I lying? I'm lying. I'm definitely lying. There's a lot of Rogue items that have consumables or don't have consumables, mm -hmm. but there's only one weapon. That's also not true. We just looked at Garot <laughs> Wire, uh, but Switchblade. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Like, that's the only mm -hmm. weapon you wouldn't want to sell them. Everything else is like a firearm um, or yeah. Garot Wire, which you probably wouldn't want to sell them either, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they flatlined the amount of resources you get from the item, which is probably mm -hmm. for the best. Um, but honestly, you could sell them a switchblade because you just play it mm -hmm. and you net a resource. It's like a fast gain of resource with a switchblade. I mean, switchblade shouldn't really exist either just because there's so many cheating things you could do with it. But the cheating things you do don't break the game and they're fun. So I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think switchblade. I, think, I don't think switchblade's a, as much of a criminal as... I mean, we are just talked about scavenging too, so... Yeah, I mean, that one's a real criminal. The Sawed Off yeah. Shotgun, I like this one a lot. It's sort of a riff on a Guardian card, and it does it in a way that's very roguish. You don't get the fight value, but it's cheaper. You don't get, like, like you can deal more damage, but it's harder to accomplish. So yeah. it's kind of like doing, it's like a more skill-based card. Like, you have to be a skilled player in order to leverage it, which I feel is what they should be. Whereas, like, Guardians, I don't think... Not that Guardians can't be played skillfully. They can. I just feel like Guardians should be a nice, new, player-friendly kind of card. Or yeah. card pool. Yeah. yeah. This this is... I I don't play this card very often because it's really hard to get to work. But when you do get it to work, it feels real good. Um, feels mm -hmm. really good. <laughs> like, yeah, you got to build a whole deck around get, it. Being able to get, like... Seven is it seven damage for each point you 
Six. Deals one damage for each point you succeed by. Okay. Mm -hmm. Instead of standard damage. Yeah. So just being able but to. But it's get only one hand slot. Off it's for awesome. one hand slot is really good. And then, oh, food. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, we'll it's go a good for card. it. Uh, yeah, we're going to call it there anyways, and then we will see you in the game. <laughs> it is very, very important to me. To record the dong, yeah. And we're not a foreign channel. <laughs> All right, you be quiet so we can let the full effect sink in. <laughs> Thank you. You may proceed. <laughs> We can't call it the dong. That's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you want to call it? I'll call it, it's a bell dong. It is a bell dong. I know, but we can't call it the dong. <laughs> Why not? I like it. Because <laughs> we have to record the dong. I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So welcome back. Here we are, ready to play some Weaver of the Cosmos, the finale for Dream Eater's campaign. We're all set up. Everything is grand until it's not. Uh, what do you got for your upgrades, Tom? Why don't you take a little tour for us? Sure. Uh, so it looks like for my upgrades, I got a couple for Warns, which is good because um, cancels are something that you can always use, which is what I learned from playing the Dream side of this campaign this time. Awesome. I also we're we're not right. We're not talking about that. We're not we're, talking yeah, about that. We're not going to speak of that. It's the it, the scenario that shall not be named until it must be discussed in our reflection <laughs> on the Dream Eaters. Otherwise, just, it is not. It's to be bad luck. Off. It's bad luck to talk about it. So, but you were forewarned about it, so you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I got a couple unexpected courage twos, uh, and I think you spent an XP buying you back a. Uh, Test of will as well. And I'm excited to try Unexpected Courage 2 in Min. I've yes. never tried that before, so that's kind of cool. What about you? Yeah. What'd you get? Um, well, I just have a quick comment on yours before I move to mine, in that oh, sure. you did not get the promised extra charisma. But the I'm reason upset. you didn't get it, um, I think is very good, because Randolph is going to leave your deck. And so uh -huh. you don't need that extra slot, right? That's 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 maybe true. I will, I will yeah. grant you this. Okay. So I promise I was going to do it, and then I was like, oh, shoot, he's not even going to have Randall, so it doesn't make sense. I'm hoping yeah. those unexpected courages serve your other uh, request, though, which was for wild icons. And so I figured, hey, that's three yeah, wild so icons. And if you fail, you could just do it again. Yeah, I like the idea of being able to uh, get that back if I do fail, because the tokens are not nice in this scenario. They're not. They're actually quite mean. All right, what'd you get? I got Spiritual Resolve. Uh, hey! I knew that one. You did know. <laughs> I got this specifically because I was so I was going to get the other one, the one that like is the amulet or whatever. And then you kill enemies and you get charges and you cancel. Tokens Wish eater. And heal. Yeah. Wish eater. Yeah. I was going to do that. But the problem is I already have police badge. So in order to make it work, I also need like a relic hunter or I need to find some way to tutor it up. And mm -hmm. it's just it's just so many layers. I was like, forget it. All I need is to spend two resources off of a spiritual resolve through my um ever vigilant and then i can have like a massive pool of soak so that way yeah uh what's her name gret doesn't have to die so quickly i don't have to go out of into the danger zone this should keep me you know in place and i also just got rid of like what was it like uh my evidence and some other cards that just basically don't super need yeah and then i also yeah. took in a uh, leadership for help our resource count because that I hey think we need a little more yeah, that's cool. I like this card. I just put this in a Carson deck that I'm going to play later. Nice. Which I named more like Arson because the upgrade plan <laughs> includes kerosene and flamethrowers. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty great. I also have a Carson deck I'm itching to try. I've not had a chance to play him yet. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's I guess we should character. probably... I should probably read this stuff before speaking of um oh, wait, isn't Virgil already out of my, or Randolph already out of my deck? I don't no, know. No, but he's not. I, I, he's I not. think he starts in play and then he goes away or something. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, so yeah, because... do you want to start with the story then? Yeah, I'll start with the story. <clears throat> 
Weaver of the Cosmos. Everything has led to this. Virgil's right. Oh, wait, no, wait. Before we do that, sorry. We have a couple other things we need to talk about. One is this bag up here that uh, didn't do anything <laughs> last scenario. So uh, there are some uh, concealed cards up here. Um, there are 11 decoys and 9 not decoys. And this is basically what we're doing instead of getting a return to for this campaign is uh, we have the opportunity to get parallel investigators. Yes. Um, these will not show up until the second part of this scenario, just like they were supposed to not show up until the second part of the last scenario that we're not talking about. Uh, but we never got that far. I'm not talking about it. Um, but this is not concealed itself, so we are just going to pepper these around the map of the second part of the scenario, and then as an action, we can just reveal one. If it's a decoy, it goes away. If it's a uh, cultist, I think is what I grabbed, we'll grab one card out of the pack. And then so if it was Bash Camp Pete, you put him in the victory display. Hey, we got parallel Ash Camp Pete. We saved him. Mm-hmm. He's he's out. He's free of the dream or whatever. Yes. Uh, apparently Monterey Jack, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. And the idea behind doing this is at the end of a campaign, we're supposed to unlock return twos if we win. And there's no return to for Dream Eaters presently. So yeah. we want some kind of reward. And so this is like, you know, it's a challenge. We actually have to work for it and we may not even get anybody. but. Yep. At least it's there, and yeah, we don't need to go through the whole concealed mechanic because that's just like way that's just like way too much. It just needs to be a couple bonus investigators. So yep, hopefully we get some. We wake up some dreamers in the, the dreamlands here. That's that's what we're looking for. Um, okay, now I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the first sentence that I I did. A, I already read again. Just <laughs> FYI. All right, Weaver of the Cosmos, take two. Everything has led to this. Virgil's writing, your companion's never-ending sleep at St. Mary's, the black cat, all of it. You have no choice but to press on. This trans-dimensional space is home to a creature that will obliterate you, that would obliterate your world and replace it with a new reality, a nightmare scape of pitch-black darkness and creatures that prey on your kind. If you cannot stop its weaving, there will be no earth left to wake up to. You have to do something, even if it means your end. Short and sweet. Agenda one reads the bridge of webs. This vast expanse of space is a bridge between the dreamlands and reality woven by a terrible spider creature that is the cause of all of the distortions you have experienced thus far. If you don't find a way to stop it from completing the bridge, it will open the way for these horrors to enter the waking world. This agenda gets plus four doom threshold forced. When this agenda advances, do not remove doom from locations in play. And Act 1 reads, Journey Across the Bridge. You realize now that you are no longer in the dreamlands or the waking world, but somewhere else entirely, a Stygian void wherein dwells the weaver of the cosmos. It is not just your world at stake, but the dreamlands as well. Each location is connected to each location above and below it. Objective, if each investigator is at the bottommost location, they may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Six clues to advance. And uh, the... Poisoned weaknesses are in, and we have the poison weaknesses. We keep forgetting. Last round, we forgot. That's we just did it. Big... It was it was three on each side. That's how we did it. Yeah, that that each was side in, got the a... intention. It was it was All the intention. <laughs> it, it's not. It didn't just so happen that we forgot it once on each side. <laughs> I mean, a part of that, to be fair, is like uh, we switched to tape. TTS, so we're like yeah. playing in a completely different format. So I feel like it's a little harder to be yeah. too upset about it, honestly. Yeah, thanks, Octagon, for crashing. No, I'm actually I'm not too I'm not too miffed about that. It's fine. Um, do I want to hold on to you? I kind of don't. I kind of want just Clue getting stuff right. Cool. I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'm a set. Let's let's do this. Uh, let's so let's check our location out. What do we got? Uh, the Great Web, Tangled Web, forced when the investigation phase ends. If there's at least one investigator at this location, place a doom on it. Ouch! Cool. So we do not want to be here. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> no, we we don't. We don't. You're right. <laughs> Actually, these locations do they go away at that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they, they do. So I feel like we got time. Um, I'm gonna try and get some clues, and I have something to help you get a clue. I think as well. Cool. So. Let's just okay. do as much as we can. So I'm going to first action spend two, play an art student. 
Get a clue. Okay. Second action, I'm going to spend three. Play Randolph while he's still in my deck. May as well. May as well. Gives me these two. Cool. And uh, last action, I will investigate five to two. It's a cultist. Reveal another token. Uh-oh. It's a skull. Highest amount of doom on a location in play. It's zero right now. I get the nice. All right. And that is me. So the doom is happening either way then, so I don't need to be yeah. concerned about whether you don't need I to do. you don't need to move, okay. yeah. We're just we're just gonna do one doom here. Okay. Make our skulls a little bit worse for a little bit longer. Okay, first action I'm gonna draw a card. If you do have time to investigate, it would be I can basically guarantee your success. Okay, I will go ahead and investigate second action. Have that. And it gets an extra pip, so four. All right. All right. Didn't even need it. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's okay. half the amount of clues that we need right yeah and then we can just sprint down so that's kind of okay, what i was like it's so... worth it to put a doom here doom yeah i think last action one two three four five, oh sorry six yeah i got one more left um... i'll hold on to this doom and just shake it around then <laughs> uh well let's see i have two three four i'm gonna gain a resource I'm going to gain a resource. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to right. keep. Investigation phase ends. I put a thing there. Nice. Let's keep. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like that. Uh, okay. Doom on the agenda. We're at two of, what, 11? Oof. Nice. Okay. Cotton web. Put cotton web into play in your threat area. You get minus one agility and cannot take more than one move action each round. Uh, oh, it's my threat area, and then a uh, combat action to get rid of it. Oh, you can get rid of that. You can get rid of that. I can do that, yeah. Endless weaving. Choose a spider enemy in play. If it is engaged with an investigator, it makes an immediate attack, along with each of its swarm or host cards. Otherwise, place one doom on its location. If there are no spider enemies in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a spider enemy and draw it. Okay. So it's draw it. Okay, cool. Um, do you want a doom spider? I kind of want to get the Doom Spiders out of the deck out, out here. So I kind of think that's a good idea because they're aloof. Any empty location, yeah, maybe get yeah. get one of those. I'm not quite ready go. for a big Weaver yet. All right, I probably Doom won't spider. be able to deal with him this turn. But um, so what does he? That's do? a that's okay. Place when Doom this location. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to go first? Do I want to go first? I guess I'll, I guess I can go first and just hooper up clues. Sure. All go right. I'm going to investigate five to two. I get a clue. That's the whole location. All right. And a location. Look at that. Uh, I'll go down there. After you enter this location, test brain three. If you fail, you must either choose and discard one card from your hand, but each point you fail by, or place one do on this location. Uh, okay. Well, we're getting the crappy ones out of the way at least. We're getting a lot of, it's actually a little bit of good luck here. Uh, I will go four to five, five to three, five to three. Okay. Um, I'm going to commit this. Yeah, I'm going to commit this just to keep us under. Yeah. Yeah, um, but... So I'm going to go seven to three. Okay, I didn't okay. need to, but hey. It's all right. Uh, and then I will investigate... Oh, this place sucks. I'm just going to keep moving. Should I keep moving? Yeah, it does suck. I, I say just keep going. You might I'm have another test going. in your hands, but let's hope for the best. All right, we get uh, test foot three. If you fail, lose one action for each point you fail by, or place one doom on this location. Well, that's too bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I can't lose action, so I'm going to have to just place the doom. I'm going to go Oof. two to three. I could draw a star. Uh-oh. Uh, so just one doom, I think. Just one doom, yeah. It, yeah, the the cultist doesn't do anything. Okay, not too bad. Okay, yeah, no, that was fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, the only way to kill that monster, if I'm going to kill him, is to have some kind of weapon. There's no other way to do it. So I'm gonna have first action. Play Ever Vigilant. I'll spend two. 
plop down, police badge. We'll spend two, plop down a gun. And we'll spend two and plop down spiritual resolve. Nice. Okay. So hey, I'm, I'm not worried about in, you anymore. Yeah, I'm much better position now. And I will next action move. I can take one move action a turn, so we'll do mm -hmm. that. We'll go into here. I have to test willpower three for fail. I have to choose and discard one card from my hand for each point I fail by or replace a doom. Um, I'll go ahead and pitch this guts to that test. I make myself Five to six three? to three. No, six or to six three. three. Yeah. Please badge. Please badge. Yeah. Uh, minus one. Pass. Yeah. Good, I get a card. Okay, okay, one action one, left. One action left. I can try to get through the cotton the web. Or I think I'll wait on that. I can't or but I can't kill the bad guy either. Hmm. Can't play this. Exhausted that. I mean, you I about the web it? spinner? Maybe I just get rid of my cotton the web. I guess we could just leave it. Yeah, if we can beat the Doom down. I'm just a little worried because I got two High Shroud locations, but honestly, I can probably deal with the High Shroud locations. We only need two more clues. It's not that much. Yeah. Um, well, I can't... Well, let's, let me see. What's the most productive thing I can do? It weirdly enough feels like gaining another resource. I think gaining getting, another resource or getting rid of Caught in the Web, yeah. Let's get rid of... Can I get rid of Caught in the Web? I probably can. I think... I think two I up's actually it. two up's not bad right now. It's not great. You still don't beat the squiddy boys, but but nothing really okay. bad will happen if I fail. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'll just try it. I'll try it. I'll see if I get lucky. I yeah, got you got lucky. Down. Cool. Cool. I think that was the right call. Uh, okay, so it's at the end of the round. Okay, so upkeep first, and then doom on that location. All right. We are at okay. 5 of 11. Okay, it's starting to get a little spooky. Okay. Endless Swarm weaving. Choose a spider enemy. You know what? Uh, I got to do this one first. Um, so it's going to put a doom on its location. Uh, I draw first, actually. Oh, shoot. About? You totally do. So that's my swarm of spiders. Oh, so you draw it? Okay, I, yeah. I was on autopilot. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah. Um, I forget... Uh, I think the order is like I don't remember. It's now, so it's, fine. it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. I don't even know what they were. Okay, so then I get this, which is choose a spider enemy and play if it is engaged. Any it so this any was attack. this is before I resolve this, so it's just this one. It's just gonna put a doom down. Wait, 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 wait. I get to choose the spider though, so I can this have spider, it attack you if I want. The spider wasn't in play because you you're supposed to draw first. So the spider's not here. I haven't drawn it yet. Wait, 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 wait. Did you draw? I I drew the spider. I thought. I you drew I drew this. the end. I drew the endless leaving first. That's why oh, I technically I drew saying. your card. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's, so that spider's that's, not in play. Okay. We probably should yeah, have just so left I think it because I'm so confused. <laughs> I should have. Um. I, so I think it's just put a doom on this location, right? And I already did that. So okay, I I see. So I have to just put a doom, and then you draw that, yeah. and you get your spider. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this makes sense good. to my brain now. Help me. So <laughs> I will kind of help you. That is my goal. Not to worry. Let's go ahead and actually, um, that card. Can I see that again? The endless I don't, weaving. I yeah. don't like endless weaving. I think this is a bad card. I agree. I don't like I'm this card gonna, either. Really, I'm gonna fool me once. This see, it's gonna stay okay. here for now. Uh, just like. Here, put it in like this play area or something like that, maybe. I think I'll forget it if, if, unless it's like up here. Okay, so. well, don't, yeah, just put it like there then, maybe. I'll just put it like, I'll put it in this slot. All right, cool. Okay, because this says when he would discard a treachery, this is a treachery. Yeah. Um, After I resolve the effects and attach that, when an investor draws a copy of it, I can cancel that revelation effect. Sounds good. Okay. Help. Okay, um, yeah, <laughs> so help. Help is on the way. Let's go ahead and spend our first action to move down into here. Thank you. You got a test foot. Test foot. Lose an action or place Doom on my location. I can give you two. That I think be... I'm gonna. 
take me to four to three. Yeah. Four to three. I'd like you to succeed, but if you just don't lose a bunch of actions, I feel like that's pretty good too. Okay, let's go four to three and hope for the best. Minus four. Crap. Wow. So uh, did I lose how much that's, did I lose by? That's by three, so you'd lose three actions, which you can't. But my turn is if just I a waste, an, so... Hold on a second. If I, I lose an action and then place a Doom... Uh, just place a Doom. It's it's you not what for each you should feel by on the Doom. It's just you oh. either place a Doom or you must either lose one action for each point you fell by. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still have time because it's 11. Okay, so I'm going to do the Doom because I can help you deal with this problem then. So I keep all my actions then, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So you should have you should have um Okay. Two I'm actions take, left, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shot. Um hopefully this works out and you trust me. I'm five to one, so I don't see myself missing. Okay. Hey. I got him. I that's two down. Okay. Now I have one action left. I can punch them, or you can punch them and I can help you pass that test. What? I have to punch. I mean, I Maybe. need to get. Clues. You don't have to. I think. Um, I think I need to get clues. Honestly. Yeah, you want me to just punch him? All right. Yeah, I trust you. All right, I'll just punch him. He's dead. They're dead. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Okay. So my question now is: Do I stick it out here, or do I go down and hope that that's a better one? Um, I don't have. I'd be investigating five to four, so I'd have to probably just draw a card. I think you should go ahead and check because most of your cards are auto clues anyways. So as long as yeah. there's at least two here, you should be safe. There you go. Okay. As an additional cost to investigate this location, you must spend one action or place one doom. All right. I'll do a double action investigate five to one. Hey, I get to draw two cards. That's sweet. Nice. Um, and I still pass. So I'll get one clue and two cards. Awesome. And okay. Nihilism is one of those cards. <laughs> Alright, that's me. Okay, we upkeep. Good news. All around. Okay, Doom right, is so now getting way out of control. 7 of 11. Eight. Uh, okay, actually, 8 of 11, because this guy. 11. Okay, and then I will draw first. If there's a spider enemy, you cannot commit cards to the skill test field. You cannot attack or investigate until the end of the round. That's potentially not good. <laughs> potentially very bad, yeah. Um, it's not terrible yet. So I don't, I don't want to risk anything. I don't want to spend my cards. It's too valuable. I'll have to deal with the problem another way. I'll just have to soak with spiritual resolve if if I have an enemy to deal with, or not because yeah, I pass. Fine. Oh yeah, hey, that's right. Wow, Police at least badge. Doing work. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right. It's nice. Okay, um that card what's... for quick question how many freaking copies of that card exist that is so I many i think three i think it's just God. three so i think if you cancel this i just don't remember if it reshuffles um i think it's gonna reshuffle so i think we should just leave it alone because all it's doing is gonna place a doom is that right yeah and we're getting out of here at the end of this round actually wait right? we got a we got another doom on this location i forgot because of the i i put spell. it on there i put it on there there's oh, a you stack did? of two oh, yeah oh, okay sorry I will remove the one I just added. I think you just added, you just grabbed the tour. <laughs> uh, there should be three Doom on that location. Okay, I'll get a Doom. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know. I feel like cancel. I I feel like you could cancel it. I don't know if it was, but it's oh, there's the Doom. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. You're the you're the boss on this one, and it's your card. So okay. So what is the card saying? It's just putting another doom down. So we just put a fourth doom there. I think it's fine, but I also don't know if it's going to reshuffle. So seven, if it eight, doesn't nine, reshuffle, ten. we still have an extra round. Even if I think it will reshuffle, so just get rid okay. of it. Okay. Uh, or just add just the doom. add just add the doom. Yeah. Just add the doom. Yeah. I think it's fine. I think we're okay. But we need okay. to advance this round, which means I need to go first and move so that i'm here yep. right okay. do you want to take and investigate um i can't really commit anything but it takes two actions or a doom so takes two actions or a doom um 
Oh, it's two action. So I could only do it once if I draw an auto fail. I'm yeah, and then you'll have your turn. full turn. Um, that's pretty good. I really want to get this down, but I guess I don't have that much I can get out of it. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate, but I think that's worthwhile. Okay, I will help you. I will investigate, and uh, okay. I'm doing two to one. I have or I or I could or hold on. Why don't I just get rid of your nihilism? Uh, I'm not worried about taking damage and horror. <laughs> I'm worried about oh, losing to doom. Fair. That that's why. Um, well, if I take it, I'll have to take a damage, but I think that's fine. Yeah, that's your call. Um, I, I will think take a damage and it. go three up. Minus two. Nope. Minus four. Shit. Oh, Damn this fail? great web. Yeah, it is a fail. Wow. I did not All realize right. how difficult that skull was. Now. Yeah, that's bad. Um, okay, well, okay. I'm gonna try it. I guess. Yeah, I want. I need to try it now. Uh, I'm going so, four up. So hold on, you're four up. I okay. reveal. There's. A, there's. Yeah. I've revealed a yeah. cultist. What? Just keep going. Yeah, you have to. I can't commit anything. Star. Hey, I didn't commit anything to this test either. Cool. Okay. Uh, and then I have one action left, which I. Cause this is at the end of the round, right? Is it? No, we can just do it now. Let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. Even... Yeah, let's, let's get the hell out of here. All the clues spent. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and flip that. All right. The Edge of Dreams. Read scenario. Interlude the Spider Queen in the campaign guide, then advance to Act 2, a Weaver of the Cosmos. I will go ahead and okay. read the interlude. Okay, you do that. I'm going to just pull up the rules. <laughs> <laughs> You climb a precipice of stone and behold the enormity of the spider's bridge and the thing astride it. Atlapnacha, god of spiders, accompanied by its horde of weavers, the many-legged monstrosities continuously intertwined strands of cosmic web, toiling endlessly with nightmarish fervor. As the awful creatures weave each thread, you feel reality and dreams distort, collide, and crash together. In the distance, waves of stream break upon the rocks of reality, and reality collapses upon itself into the surging, amorphous stream. You can barely comprehend the strange, shifting vistas. A sticky web hangs off the side of your vantage point, like a silken ladder leading down to your doom. Randolph survived the descent. You begin to climb down the web to the platform below, from which you can reach the edge of the bridge and Adlatnacha herself. Halfway down... The suspended platform jolts and starts to sway violently from side to side. You grip the silken threads tightly, hoping that the sticky web will keep you from falling. You look to Randolph to make sure he is okay, and it is then that you notice he is not climbing above you as you had suspected he would. You look up to find your companion scowling at you from above, a blade of onyx in his hands. He has cut a segment of the web upon which you are climbing. You plummet to the rocks below, landing painfully on your back. When you look back up at Randolph, his countenance has changed. Foolish mortals. I was never going to allow you to save your companions. You have an errand of mind and to run, and that is your sole purpose. If you wish to live, complete this task for me. He peers across at the unfathomable spider that looms before you. I shall be the one to claim your world, not that thing. Then, not Randolph simply turns and walks away. Record that the investigators are trapped in Atlaknach's realm. If an investigator's deck contains Randolph Carter... Uh, remove him from that deck for the remainder of the campaign. Because you're playing on standard difficulty, add a minus four to the chaos bag. The creature is close to completing its design. Its legs move about swiftly, spinning thread after thread of cosmic silk with unearthly determination. It scarcely even recognizes your presence. Perhaps if you can sever its legs or tear apart the webbing on which it stands. Remove each location from the game except for the bottommost location. Shift that location upwards. So that's at the top of play. Okay. Yeah, there's still totally a chance that we get no one, but... Yeah, okay. I'm fine with that. Alright, so the spider monster is here. The legs are massive. They can't make attacks of opportunity. X is the shroud value of the enemy's location, so their attack value is a shroud. Six health, when you would evade this enemy instead of exhausting it. Choose an investigator at a location this enemy cannot attack the chosen investigator this round. Okay. Okay, victory. Victory is nice. I got one action left, and uh, since we put out we put out these handy dandy concealed cards, I think I'm going to engage with this system. Nice. And spend my last action to just flip one. It's a decoy. That's <laughs> a dead person. That's just a dead person in the webs. <laughs> oh no. K 
Can't save dead people. Uh oh. <laughs> um, okay, so how does that left not to work again? Um, she rotates if a symbol uh, or a certain uh, token is revealed. Da, 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 da. When does she rotate? Oh, it's probably on the act. Eh? Yes, I didn't read that. Let's go up and do that. So the new act says, The Weaver of the Cosmos. Atlatnacha is distracted by its mindless task. Now is your chance. As an action, spend one clue, deal three damage to an ancient one enemy at your location. Force, when the mythos phase begins, reveal a random token from the chaos bag. If its modifier is negative, spin Atlatnacha clockwise X times. X is the token's negative modifier. Objective, if four legs of Atlatnacha are in the victory, display advance. So we need to take out the legs. Okay, okay. So and the legs basically first. just, if, if you've never seen this scenario play out before, the legs just kind of spin around all together. So, yes, it's a it's thing. It's very cool thematic. It, it's there's even like a thing. Awesome. There's, a, there's, a, there's a thing that uh, in, is included in the little bag. So we'll see how it works. I don't, I've never actually seen this played in huh. uh, tabletop. So, yeah, maybe this will be cool. Interesting. All right. So it's, it's upkeep. Yes, upkeep first. Oh, great. I forgot you gave me this card. <laughs> oh, actually, that's huge. That's pretty huge. Um, cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. Beginning of the mythos phase, we're going to reveal a token. So why don't you do that? Okay, I'll reveal a token. It minus, is four. minus four. So it rotates four times. Yeah, so I'll just do... Ha! Oh, it works! Voila. <laughs> that's so that cool! Awesome. Yeah. Wow. I dig Look it. Look at us. Look at, look at this. This is so cool. Okay, sweet. That's got, That's <laughs> awesome. I love that. Uh, all right. Now we put a Doom on. <laughs> doom down. And we draw encounter cards. Caught in a web. That's fine. Whatever. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> I got a Grey Weaver, so Ooh. help. Uh, okay. Importantly, uh, while it's ready, we cannot move from this location. We cannot take move actions. So um, I every time I play this one, I forget that text. And I just walk away. But you gotcha. can't do that unless it's evaded. Yes, or killed. <laughs> yeah, or kill. Or, yeah, that, which is probably more likely, honestly. What's that guy's fight value? Four. Okay. Yeah. So he is a big boy. He's, he's a little spicy. He's a little bit spicy. I can kill him in two shots, though, with this card over here. I trust so... you. If I if I shoot, let's see. I do this. He dies. Then I need to somehow get up another hit, and I need a bonus. If I play that, maybe I just play that, just so I have a way to. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. If I did this, I could get plus one, and that's six to four i don't super like six to four that's not a, can, are, is it possible that you could give me two icons at some point in this fight i have only mind symbols so that's a no uh-huh okay so i will shoot for my first action oh my god i'm gonna die <laughs> i'm gonna commit the home front hey i might stay alive uh, hey, oh, Randolph's gone. I don't get two cards. You don't, but I do hit him. I heal a damage, and he takes three damage. All right, so hell yeah. Let's document that. That's awesome. I'm just going to throw tokens on him. I don't care. I don't care, lady. I'm not going to change the state. You're gonna. You're not living long enough for that. Okay. Maybe. The next one. Draw a card, maybe? Gonna... No, I'm not going to draw a card. I'm going to spend two and play out this. I think I'm going to do it. I know it only gets me one icon, mm -hmm. but that's okay. So I'm going to shoot again. I only need to do two more damage for my last action. Five. We'll choose the police badge and go six. And then I oh, will boy. also take a damage and go seven, eight. So I'm eight times oh, four. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. He's done. All right. Hey, that is... Great. I can do things now. I'm free to do things. I don't know if I want to do things, but I'm free to. Yeah. Um, I am going to spend three, play Arcane Insight. 
Ooh, nice. Yeah, I was like, oh, this trash. And then I realized that their fight value is the Shroud. And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, interesting. Hello. Huh. Hello, this is interesting, yeah. So uh, I think I'm second actually going to draw because I'm just kind of out of juice. All right. You could great. just punch with a Shroud value at zero. That's so interesting. Huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm actually thinking about, do you have horror on you? I don't have any clues, so it doesn't matter. But I have just uh, Okay, I'm going to... I'm just going to spend this. I'm going to take a setup turn and play the strange solution that heals. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Setup right. turns is good. So wait, what cool. was your three you get... actions? Uh, I played this, Arcane this? Insight. I drew a card and I played okay. the strange solution. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. It's five, five of now. 11. Do five of 11. We're doing. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. You have to reveal a token. Reveal a oh, token. Oh, that's right. Minus one. All right. He's here. No. Or she, she, a leg. <laughs> a leg is here. So do I keep this card? Because I don't think it changes anything. Uh, these are spider enemies. So it would. Well, attack. I mean, this was the card. I still would have drawn it. Like, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Or do you want yeah, me to yeah, reshuffle yeah. it? Because I feel like. No, you keep that card. You keep that card. Okay. It, we just didn't play the other order. It's fine. So I could make them. Okay. So this I could make. I could choose the spider at our location to have him make an immediate attack against me. Yes. And that would satisfy it? I think it makes an immediate attack, so it hits both of us. But yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, okay, let's get hit this time. I'll cancel another one next time. Goodbye, art student. Because the other advantage to um, the Fool Me Once is that it just keeps the card out of the deck, is the other thing it does. So it reduces Ooh. how many times you have to deal with it. Oh, uh, oh, Ooh. let me help you. Let me help you. Ah, sweet. Uh, Leadership. <laughs> I will give. So wait, that's already three. That's already three. So I'm seven to four. Yeah. So give it one more. Give it one more. You'll be four up. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just gonna give it one more. I don't want to lose any of these things, so it doesn't matter. But we each get two resources. That's nice. Actually nice. That's really nice. Cool. Okay. Cool. Um. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no clues here. So yeah, so we kind of got so we kind of got to move. Yeah, you got to move and get clues. I can only move once, but I can still move. I really want Gret, so I kind of I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I could shoot the leg, I guess, a little bit. I mean, it's here. I what the hey? I kind of I kind of feel like we should hit it. Yeah, I mean, like well, shroud I, value you could is also... nothing. Why don't I just I'll just stay here. I'm just gonna shoot the leg my whole turn. I'm just gonna pop off three shots. I think. All right, all right, yeah, sounds good. I guess the only downside of that is I might. I won't have any weapon for next round. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe that's too aggressive. Maybe that's too I don't much. know. You got well prepared. You can punch at six. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a little worried about the other Grey Weaver coming out um, because I still haven't found my Evadee Strange Solution, which would be really helpful for that. Yeah, uh, if it does, I mean, if I draw it, that's more of the issue. But honestly, I could just take an attack for opportunity because of the spiritual resolve. So, so I'm going to go that's first. Actually, yeah, yeah, just do it. Let's just. I'm, I'm just going to shoot him. Okay. Yeah. Got him. Damage. That's two damage. I'm going to shoot him again. I'm just. I'm just going to fuck up this freaking spider. So, mm. All Four right, damage. two more. And let's just do it again. He's. I'm. I'm taking him out. He's dead. He's 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 down. Look at that, Mark. He's All right. Just, he's a beast. Mark is just out of control. He sees the spider. Spider dies. That's you know that's how it should go sometimes. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. I guess it's I guess it's me now. What do I do? <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, satisfied I I with that. I, that's a that's a leg down. Go for it. All right, I'll move in here. Hey, cool. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um. Nice easy shroud for you. Yeah, and it doesn't immediately put Doom on it, so that's cool. I am going to fast play Working a Hunch to get, just get one of those clues. Um, and then maybe I just investigate. Why? Just investigate. Because Not it takes four. an extra action. Oh, never mind. Yeah, and I'm only up three. Uh, but yeah, then I'll do the two action investigate here. Goal is minus zero. There's no Doom on locations right now. So cool. Cool. That's me. 
Nice. I got some clues. I can kill things with clues. Cool. Six doom, and then doom. reveal a thing. Yep. Reveal a, a token. token. Minus three. three. Whoa! Oh, hey. Hey, legs. I'm going to just kill you with clues, I guess. <laughs> how many damage? How much damage does the, the clue do? Three. Oh, wow. Three. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's really... It's too much. Probably. Yeah. It's too much, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bad card. Can I attack uh, or no investigate to the end of the round? I don't think I there's care. No, there's no spider enemies at your location, yeah. But you might draw a spider. So... I still don't think I care. I'm just going to test it. Uh, you pass. You pass. Nice. Police badge. Thanks, police badge. Great, Weaver. Well, thanks for passing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Um, all right. That's a little bit of a bind. I mean, I can try and evade it. I have potentially a way to evade it. It's not a great way to evade it, but... Mm, no, I think I think you let me handle it. Um, I just need you to, yeah, I'm, so I'm just going to move in and evade, and I'm going to help, uh, ha have you, I need you to give me a little buff, but I can do it, okay? Oh, okay. Wait, no, I can't unless I engage him, right? Yeah, Shoot. you have to engage first, so you'd have to move, engage, evade. And then he would prey onto me next turn. Unless I just leave. I guess I could just leave. Okay, let me think. I could just pop this down, move, and then shoot once. That's what I can do. I um, I can do a one-up evade, and since there's no doom on our locations, that feels kind of okay. I mean, do you want to go first and try? Uh, if I move to your location, I can't. I can give you. I can give you a little something if I move to your location. I think you should go first. Yeah. Yeah, I just I'm I'm in need of a setup turn now that I fought the Weaver thing, so I'll move here. I don't care about getting I, hit by that guy. I'll take I'll take care of that guy. Yeah. Okay. If and I then, can evade this guy, I guess. <laughs> Even if yeah. I can't, why not? I'll take care of it. And then I think what I need to do is draw a card and then play a weapon. So that I'm ready to dick take care of him next turn. So I'll draw. Okay, and then I play a weapon. One, two, three. I love how I've only used the 32 Colt. I don't think I've ever used my other gun. Maybe I did. I, no, I did like once. You did. You did. You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay so it's, that's me. It's me. I'm going to commit a Eureka to my evasion attempt. So I'm going four to three. You said you were going to commit something. Please do yep. that. Five to three. All right. It's not much, but it's honest. It's enough. <laughs> oh, close that's call. actually huge. And I get to search the top three. And I will grab you, probably, even though you were just the next card I was going to draw. But I didn't know that at the time. Oop. All right, that was my first action. Second action. God, stop flipping over, deck. Second and third action, I'm just going to spend clues and nuke this boy. He's nuked. Nice. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then upkeep. You're going to re-engage me because I have the lowest foot. Mm -hmm. Cool. Ooh. I like that. Interesting. Tempting. 7 of 11 doom. Uh, oh, wait. Reveal a token. Yep. yep. Star. Nothing happens. Nothing uh -oh. happens. <laughs> uh, honestly, okay. that's okay. Yeah. Obscuring fog. I don't care. That's fine. Cotton a web. Hmm. Is this per uh, I mean, I could just get rid of it fast. I don't know if that's totally worth it. No, I'll just take it. Well, it's a it's a combat test. I mean, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I think okay. like the hard thing is like now you actually have to engage Atlas Nacha. I I know I couldn't evade it either way. Never mind. What am I talking about? Uh, I'm gonna have to engage her. I think either way, because I can't deal. Or the a, Gray Weaver, yeah. Fifth, fifth, or a, yeah, the Gray Weaver, because I can't deal a fifth point of damage is the problem. Okay. Well, I can probably get some clues from whatever the next location is. I can definitely get some clues from whatever the next location is, and then I'll be able to yeah. heal you the horror off of you. So. Okay. 
if that's the case, then um Oh wait, no, I won't be able to move unless you can evade her. Shoot. Uh oh, because if she doesn't die. Yeah. Um, it looks like I might just need to engage and then fight. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I will reload my hand, I guess. Oh, I did I need to remember to draw cards when damage gets placed on me. My goodness. I keep forgetting. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Man, that's so hard to remember for some reason. I feel like I would remember it if it was from physical components. The yeah. the placement of it would like because I put the damage right on the card, and so I would be like, "Oh yeah." Oh, I guess I can just do that. Yeah, I honestly, I, I have I have a full turn of things I can do to if I can't move away from here. So yeah, you go first. Go for it. Okay, so well, I mean, it's quite simple, really. I just have to engage and then attack twice. It's the best I got, mm -hmm. and then I'm just yeah. gonna have to take the hits. Yep. And I'm going to trust that, excuse me, that you can heal me. <clears throat> I should be able to. As soon as I can get a clue. Four fight. Yeah, I still don't have anything I can commit. Unfortunately, I haven't found those unexpected courages. Five. We'll go six to four. Six okay. to four. I want to beat minus three. You can six draw a card if you take a damage. Yeah, I'll go six, seven to four and draw a card. Okay, seven, seven eight, four. right? Eight to four. That's that's Got a hit. That's, that's two damage. Two. One, two, I'll do three, bookkeeping four, for you. Five, six, seven. Um. And then the next one, thank you for the bookkeeping. Mm -hmm. The next one, because if I do this now, then I'm going to lose it, which kind of sucks, but maybe I don't care. Do this now, but it's not worth it. If you have any cards you can commit, I can give you an extra icon. Hmm. I also can um, heal you to... Uh, this round, heal me. I damage. have the time. I can heal you. If you have the time to heal me, damage, then I'll just do it via damage. I think. Okay. I'll shoot again. I'll go five, five six, six seven. seven. I don't get another card because I already burned it. Seven to four. I'm three up. I'm happy with three up. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um. Before. My... Uh. Yeah. I guess I keep the rest then. Yeah, I just keep All right, I am going to heal you too. Using the strange solution. Thank you. Uh, then I'm going to flip this card. It's the red glove man, so that's a cultist. I just didn't take him out. So we did unlock parallel skits. Great. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> of all the people. <laughs> Wonderful. That's good. I'm happy with that. He was uh, just the okay. person I wanted to rescue. <laughs> um. I mean, it's just, it's, that's what happened. It's fine. Uh, and then I'll last action play this Cherish Keepsake. Because why not? All right, okay. you get attacked. Get attacked. I will take one and one here. And then I'll take the other horror there on me. Okay. Upkeep. Hey, that's a card. I totally forgot I had in this deck. Uh, reveal a token. Uh, that three. has a negative modifier of three, so let's do it. Oh, either okay. side of us. Eight of eleven Eight. doom. Each one, edge attached enemy gets plus one damage, plus one horror. Testing any skill five. If you succeed, discard the spinner in darkness. Okay. Um, I guess this one, right? Yeah, I think so. That's probably the one I'm going to go for next. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm on the hunt. All right, your card. Oh, boy. Do I care? <laughs> probably not. I probably don't. It's just... I don't think I care. I don't think I care. Okay. I don't care. I don't care. I can be caught in a web. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got shit to do tomorrow. I can die today. <laughs> All 
All right, so I guess I'll go first, see if I can get rid of some of these webs, right? Uh, if and you I can get rid of the Grey Weaver, monster. that's actually more impactful. Well, they I'm going to kill the Grey soon. Weaver first, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to straight up punch him in the... Uh, I don't I don't even know what appendage I would target, but I'm probably just going to I don't feel like burning my stuff. Well, let's see a five to four, six, seven to four. Uh, no, I'll go ahead. Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and go eight to four. Yeah, uh, do you I'm not a oh, yeah, I am a real patient. I can bump you up one more if you want me to, but. Oh, wait, no, I take it back because. I do this. No, I have to. I, I I'm gonna use it. I I because I gotta. I got other tests probably. I'm gonna do in this turn. So I'll yeah, just and I actually and, I should probably save my thing. So yeah, save your bonus and. Um, oh, you're yeah, already four up with that, him. anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he's dead. Hey, no more gray weavers. Oh, you do it. You do it. Oh no, you're still taking your turn. I'll do it. <laughs> Thanks. Um. And then as a fast action, I'm gonna discard this copy of Spiritual Resolve and heal this. Nice. Up. Nice. Oh, that's how you play that card. Right? That was... It's just what I was saying. That's such, um, a, that's such a... That's so cool. This is a good... That's actually a really good demonstration of that card. Um, yeah. Really happy to see this working out. Perfect. So now let's get rid of some of your webs, I think, right? Do you want me to do that for two, two more actions? Like, get rid of the two of those? I can get rid of the uh, two of those and then launch you into the next room. That's what I'm thinking. Sure, do it. All right, so first one, testing five. Uh, let's see now. Five. I don't need that much more. I go six. How, wait, how? It's difficult to test a three. So yeah, I want to be at least six. Six to three feels six. pretty good. Okay, six so to I'll three go feels pretty good. Six to three. I'm going to spend a resource and put this down. And then... Okay. Um, well, you're already six to three. Just go six to three. It, this is not the most right. critical, so. Six to three. Cool. Yeah. Got one. Okay, I'll keep that then. I changed my mind. We'll just leave the resource so I can get try to get Gret later. And then, um, last action. Uh, at this point, I can't really commit anything. I mean, I could. I okay. could commit that combat training, but that's it. Do I just I'm do not that? Maybe I don't care. I yeah, I I don't know about you. You seem a little resource tight to be playing the combat training, honestly. I know it was a horror soak for you, and that's kind of the thing I'm a little worried about. But you have spiritual resolve now, so yeah, it's mostly like my main thing in my head, in the back of my mind, is like getting Gret. That mm -hmm. would make me feel a lot more comfortable. But I haven't drawn yeah. her yet, so I'm sort of stuck. Did you take any damage in the enemy phase last turn? I did. You should have drawn a card. That's right, because it would have it was on spiritual resolve. All right, thank yep. you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, that does nothing. Uh, yeah, that that would have done nothing. Well, I would have had. Would I have had a damage? Have... No, no, because I no, put it on I spiritual healed you. resolve. Oh, yeah, yeah I healed, you healed you. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> this is such a funky scenario. Um, what happens if I fail? That was during the attack. I don't. I don't really lose anything if I fail. So I'm yeah, just you can just move in yours. there. I'm. Oh, you want me to move? Uh, no, it's fine. Actually, don't because it hits for two and two, and I can maybe kill it, but might I might not be able to. So, so yeah, if you test mine, that's fine. Whatever. Just go five to three. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, I'm just gonna go five to three. Whatever. It's gone. That's Get the out best here. that could Get happen. Get out of here. Okay, so quick question. Do you want me to move you down a space before I end my turn, or no? Yes, yeah. please. That would be super. Okay, shortcut in. Whoop. All right, we got the Great Web. After this, okay, just gets the Doom. All right, well, nothing I can do about that. You already did it. Or it already did it. I don't know. Yeah, it did. Um, okay. okay, that's actually fine. I have three actions. I am going to start by using Arcane Insight. Whoop, and spending a thing. So this is now a three shroud location. Cool. First action, I'm going to commit a deduction to this test. So I'm going Ooh. six to three. Six to three is not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's do it. Skull is nice. minus one. So I'll get both these clues. Second two actions, I will nuke this leg. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just dead. It's just gone. 
It's just gone. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That was yeah. that was some power turn you had there. Very nicely done. Yeah. All right. Upkeep. Hey, cool. <laughs> okay, lake spinning. I always forget that. It's a minus. It's a skull, so minus one. Yep. Hey, you got a friend. I don't okay. want shroud location. Actually, it's three shroud. Obscuring fog matters. What it does? That's interesting. Oh, uh, this I don't think I can stop. So that's so we advance. Nine. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, we advance because uh, there's one on my location. Ten. Wait, did you already add it or no? It's uh, I haven't added it yet, so it's like that. Oh, OK, cool. Here we go. A breath of fresh air. There is no air in this interdimensional space. Even in the bleak pits of the underworld, you sensed cold wind coiling through the depths or warm noxious gas rising from the sea of pitch. But here there is nothing, no air, no atmosphere, no life whatsoever, save for you and the spiders whose work nears completion. Just as you are contemplating how anything can exist at all in this awful world between worlds, you hear a sound like the stretching and tearing of fabric. Then a rush of billowing air erupts all around you, filling the vastness of the realm like dust in a vacuum. This wind must be coming from somewhere, and that can only mean one thing, worlds are starting to emerge. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Not my favorite. <clears throat> okay, and we don't remove Doom reads, from locations. Yes, the next uh, agenda reads, A Trail of Twists. In this void between realities, there can be no hope or joy, just the ceaseless toiling of spiders performing their great work, closer and closer to completion with each passing moment. This agenda gets plus four Doom threshold, forced when this agenda bans don't remove Doom from play. Okay. So we have 14 Doom. Wow. All right. We got, we've, this has been a really exceptional. Oh, no, that's my card. You drew in uh, Ancient Evils. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I forgot. Uh, this has Ancient been an. That's right. Yeah. This don't is, say this it. Been don't a... say it. We don't need to talk about it. You know? Hey, it, just, okay, don't, just okay. keep playing. <laughs> sure. Whatever. No I don't jinx care. It. <laughs> uh, yeah, fine. Okay. Um, that's my card. I honestly kind of just want to cancel it because I'm tired of seeing this card, but I'm not going to because that would be silly. Actually, I am going to cancel it. We, because you can't, though. You don't have a clue. Oh, I oh, can. you have another way. Okay, you have an, I have several way. ways. I have I have so many cancels. I'm just going to test of will this. Okay. It's, it's sitting in my hand. I have, yeah. It's, it's yeah, I think, I think I it's a good call, that. honestly. It's just slowing yeah. you down. We don't need that crap right now. Let's just go. Yeah, doing, yeah. You know we're we're playing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You got that legs. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of want to just try and rescue some people, so I think I might mm -hmm. go first before you do that. Uh, that's cool. So I'm just gonna first flip this. It's it's a dead guy. Goodbye, dead guy. Uh, second action. I'll move down here. Wow. Jesus Christ. We're getting in nothing. We're not doing anything. I'll flip this other one again. So. It's it's another one. We got another one. All right, shake up the bag. Nice. You want to pull it this time? Sure. Yeah, hey, for the little Jim. Cool. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Jim. Welcome nice. aboard. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. Okay, so I'm blowing this spider to smithereens. It sounds like that's the plan. What's his shroud? Okay, so he's three fight value. Three fight, yeah. I'm two up. Psh, do I care? How much damage do I need to do? I, need, I can't miss any, right? Uh, you need to do six, yeah. Let's do three up. So I will play this now. For reals. Okay. Um, because I can attack the first one with the gun and go five, six... To his Six three. To three. We'll go three up. Cool. Three, two damage. two damage. The next one, I'll shoot again. I'll spend a resource to go six to three again. Okay. Two damage. Spend another resource and another bullet. Do six to three a final time. Got him. I didn't That's need to do any one. of that, but whatever. All right. All legs are in the display, so let's go ahead and flip that thing. The Queen's Wrath. 
Having severed the wretched le spider's legs and unraveled the webs it stood on, you hoped that this would send the thing crane, uh, careening into the endless void below. But as it falls more thin, its jagged legs erupt from below its abdomen, and it grips onto a nearby platform, just barely catching itself. The horrible maw, which extends down the length of its worm-like head, wrenches open. From it emerges a screech like a thousand nails on a chalkboard. Flip Ow. that obnoxious center card over to its enemy side. Place at the location with the most doom. Is that yours? Nope, no, this one. Thank God. Okay. The new act, Act 3, reads, The Scheme's Demise. You're the last line of defense against the creatures that scheme to devour your world. As an action, we can spend a clue and still deal the three damage to an ancient enemy at your location. Forced when the mythos phase begins. Okay. Random token. If this modifier is negative, move it X times. Okay. And we have to defeat the spider. We gotta kill it. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of just gotta. Um, but it's okay. We got two investigators, so I'm pretty happy to let it die. Uh, you have one action? No, you have no actions left. Okay. I got so none. That took me my whole turn. Yeah. Hey, that's a card. All right. We are at two of 14. 13? Two of 13. And she What'd moves three locations. Is it clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, I think just click the rotate button. It should work. Clockwise. Oh, really? Well, maybe it doesn't anymore. <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. What well, that 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 worked? That One, worked. two, three. Okay, she's over here. Clockwise. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then like she has a thing where after she leaves a location, if there are no investigators at location, place one doom there. Okay. Uh, and does that drop a doom on this one too? Yes. Okay. I think so. I believe that's true. Because I was at this location, so I got it. You got it. We both got it. Okay. All right. Um, cool. Uh, so we got then bad now encounter cards. cards. Yeah, so what did I get? Oh, damage. did we get the uh, Doom on there? Yeah, we did. Yeah, oh, we both take a damage. So. Cool. Take a damage. Thr poison! <laughs> hey, draw a card. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep forgetting... That had surged and so now spinner in darkness. Oh, okay, okay. So she gets to her. Yes, yeah. she, she's real mad. Oh, okay. she hurts. Okay. Um, I can't do anything about that. Swarm of spiders. Uh, Ooh, that's bad. A little far. I mean, I can potentially punch. Honestly, mm -hmm. um, it's not great, but. Okay, Damn. so yeah, I can't really get to you. I mean, I could, but then I couldn't do anything else. So I'm uh, not sure what you're yeah. thinking. Punch three times, I think, is what I'm thinking. Uh, honestly, that's that's what I'm thinking. I'm kind of I'm kind of turned off by this a little bit. Hmm. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, no, no, no. I can take three damage. That's not a good idea. That's that's not a good idea. Uh, what's their evade? One? Their evade's one? No, it's a number of swarm cards. All right, I gotta do some punching. Ain't no two ways about it. I'm just gonna punch two to one. I'm gonna start because okay. this is my life now. Goal is minus two now. Crap. Do it again. I think I gotta kill at least one, so I'll do this. Um, it's a good idea. Yeah, I think I do give it the buff. No, I'm four to one. Yeah, I give it the buff. I don't. Well, it'll come back. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do three to one, or four to one. Yeah. Okay. Got him. Get down there. That was a nice slick move. Yeah, I learned that. Um, and then I guess I punch again. Two to one. Hey. Okay. All right, I can take one damage. That's all right. Okay. I think I need to get rid of this thing on me. I think you do. Now we got to chase the spider. So Yeah, and I think five. I can go six. I don't want to spend any more resources. I'm all done with that. So six, I think, is enough. So I'll test six. Let's hope that's enough. It is. And then I I still need to run to you, yes. Uh, 
I mean, maybe. I don't know how fast she's going to zip around. Because I don't like that this is just eating away your actions. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how helpful I'm going to be in this fight anyways. I guess I could get clues, but... Yeah, I guess I can get clues. I mean... Yeah, maybe just come to me. Yeah. Yeah, I think... So it's yeah. a little bad because if she's slow, we're in a little bit of a trouble, but the thing is I can't um I need another gun. And yeah. so I need a I need a way to turn to get another resource and then play my gun. So I'm not gonna be able to like take her out right away. And that's yeah, fine. So maybe, How much health does she have? Nine. So I mean I, I can blast it with nine, clues if I this looks like eight. Does she get more from oh, the this? Eight. Eight, sorry. It's okay. just eight. I I can do nine damage with three clues. That's why I said nine. Oh, okay. Because... So I'm I'm just gonna move twice. I'm gonna get to your location, just okay. because. Um, I think it's better if we stick together right now. I think it's all right. I'll that's really take a damage. Okay, good. that's a card that I can definitely play. All right. Uh, she's gonna move. What's the what's the token you're drawing? Star. She doesn't move. Sweet. That's cool. kind of good actually. Uh, Doom. Your bad card. Doom. I'm gonna cancel that. Oh. You can't. Oh, wait, do I? I think I should. I think I should. Nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, think I think it's, it's just worth idea. it. We can maybe get some more guys. Web spinner. Uh, Why don't you put him up here? I can kill him on the way. Yeah, I think so. I, okay. I do think he needs to die. I think so, too. Also, I have a bullet in the chamber that has his name written on it, so... <laughs> cool. Uh, do you want to go first and <laughs> at least punch this spider off of me? Or do yeah, you need so to I'm just gonna go punch, get that web move. spinner? Uh, I'm not going to be able to get the web spinner this turn, I don't think. Because I'm going to have to punch, okay. move, and then i got to play a card. So I will yeah, punch actually... first. This fight's okay. one. So I'm just going to... I don't need to buff. I'm just going to punch him. He dies. He's dead. And then I will move into here. This is vast web. Sweet. Okay. Awesome. I just okay, gotta that's I gotta get the clues nice. off that and then, then we can yeah, that's that's really huge actually. Okay, and then I'm gonna spend four resources and play by forty five automatic. Nice. Okay. It's me. It's me. Uh all right. I'm going to spend one and play a uh, chance encounter. To get an art student back. I haven't drawn any of my other ones that get me clues, but this gets me a clue, so that's something. Nice. Um I think what I need to do weirdly. I think I'm gonna leave this clue here, if I'm being totally honest. Sure. So yeah, then I think I'm gonna move. In here. Grab another investigator. That's kind of my thought. Do I it. could either do that or I could get down something that evades, but you're starting here, so I'll just do that now. Oh my god, we're getting really lucky with these. Nice. <laughs> right. Go for it. Da -da 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 -da. Agnes! Agnes! Oh, that's sweet. Yes! That's sweet. Oh my god. Awesome. We're getting second we're getting like an, a second life on this dying progression <laughs> challenge. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, that's I'll really take good. it. This yeah. is a really exciting way to play this scenario. I love it. I really like it, yeah. Saving people. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> enemy phase, that's at the end of the round, so upkeep. Cool. And he gets a doom here. And uh, reveal a token. Yep, got to do that. Minus, Minus three. three. So she's going to move one, one two, two, three up to the great web. Okay, so she's still within range. I'll just leave this in the center. It's connected to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you just run up Jump. there now. We don't worry about the Grey Weaver. Cause she That's just not a bad a thought. Truckload me... of Doom down. Yeah, let me add a Doom. Does that advance us? I think it does. Seven, Seven eight, nine, no, ten. nine. Nine, ten. So we still have three okay. rounds left, but yeah. Web spinner. Flip. Uh... uh. I guess just uh, over on probably the one Doom ones or a zero Doom one. Yeah, zero yeah, Doom's good. Man. Got those skulls. Yeah, maybe maybe like me go first and I can just launch you at her. We'll, we'll get, your, we get your card first. Let's see what we can even do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crypt okay. chill. I don't care. Oh, this is I, I, I can help you. Do you want me to help you? I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. I really <laughs> don't care. 
I'm going four to. Yeah, I'm going four to four to four. I think here. I, no, I'm, I, that's okay. No, no, no. I didn't want it. I, well, I'm just, fine I to discard fine. this <laughs> cherish keepsake. Well, you would have lost. So if you really want to, it's fine. But okay. Um, I didn't want you to. All right, let me go first. Okay. Sure. Oh, you know what I should have done? That actually would have been really smart, but that's okay. I am going to exhaust Arcane Insight and reduce the Shroud here to one for the remainder, remainder of my turn. Uh, then I'm going to investigate. I'll commit deduction, give it an extra thing, so I'm going six to one. I will get two clues. We can now officially use this thing. What thing? Now, the, the, the bridge, so you can shoot over there. Oh, because you have to spend... Oh, there has to be fewer than so many clues. Yeah, there just has to be. There just has to be half the clues here. Okay, um, perfect. I can do. I can do two things now. Okay. I can launch myself over there and do three damage, uh -huh. or I can and then take a, a bunch of damage because it doesn't really matter. I'm I'm doing okay. Or I can go and try and find rescue more people. What do you think I should do? It's got eight health. It's going to take me an action to move in, and I'm going to do two four. Yeah, we won't be able to kill her no matter what this time, but. No matter what. I don't think or so. By six, seven. Yeah. So go get another investigator then. I have to catch up to her anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, I'll move in here. When there's at least... Oh, fuck. All right, well, we're going to put Doom on there. I think it's going to advance this round now, unfortunately. I think it's advancing anyways. This is not a Doom. It's not? It's a clue. It's a clue. <laughs> All right. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> it's a mess. I'm gonna flip this card over. It's probably sure. a decoy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was worth it. Worth the punt. Okay, so I'm going all offense now. Yes. One, two. Three, I think so. Four, five, I think we just six, have to. Seven, eight. Oh, actually, crap! I didn't realize we could have killed her this turn. Oh well, too bad. Oh really? Yeah, I didn't know. Did you that. have okay. one extra damage? Damn it! I did. Okay. I forgot. Sorry. I I, I wasn't looking at my hand very closely. Okay, I'll move in. <clears throat> I don't care if she hits me or whatever. Uh, massive. So let's f let's fight her. She fights at a four. I'm going to use this gun, which is going to put me at a six. So I'm two up, and I will go... Uh, I'll go three, four up. Uh, it's each investigator's taken. Oh, each investigator's. Sorry, yeah, I kind of ran that for you. So I'm five, six, seven to four. Mm -hmm. Seven to four. Spend a resource, maybe? Just to beat the minus four. No, fours. I'm just going to be seven to four. That's enough. All right, cool. Three damage. So I moved, I shot. I'm going to shoot again. This time, I'll tap this and go five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, I go seven to, four. seven to four again. Uh, minus two. We've minus kept that two. pretty good. So that's okay, good. So that's All right. Five. One clue would kill her. So that's she moves pretty far. Okay, I cool. can just take her out. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So she's gonna hit me for three and three. Is that right? Yup. So I think I'm just going to take the so three you, and the spiritual you have resolve. To lose. And... What's that? Oh, you're gonna keep the combat. You're gonna keep the combat training. Well, okay. Oh, I guess I see what you're saying. So I take one hit on the combat training, and then I put two on the spiritual resolve and that covers it and then i put one on two and one yeah yeah okay yeah so let's lose com the spiritual or combat training and then that's the other two here you and can then... just hit two on it as well if you just click if you just hit the two when you're mousing over it it'll change it to two. Oh, okay nice so then i put yeah. one there and then i have to take two damage on my on me uh yes that's fine. But you did I'll get to draw a card. card. Yeah. Eight. All right. Okay. Upkeep. Upkeep. Eight, I guess. Now I have to discard. Quite a few, actually. <laughs> Scared of that. Oh, no. I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, beginning of Mythos. She moves. Okay. Or does she? Three. Yeah, she moves three. One, One two, two three. three. I can run over and finish her off. So I she guess. drops oh. two doom. And then these there's doom on these locations from the web eaters. 
And then there's one Doom on my location. We got to finish this off. Jeez. Okay, brutal. All right. So this definitely advances. Right? Guess what? The next one does not advance, though. That's good. (laughs) Does it not? (laughs) It does not. It does not quite. (laughs) Okay, of stars and webs. A light flashes in the distance beyond stands uh, or beyond strands of ethereal webbing. An explosion thousands of light years away. Radiant light ripples throughout the web bridge. The silken threads reflect the luminescence of a shattered nebula. A brilliant shine burns your pupils. When the glow finally dims, the bridge is rep- resplendent with cosmic energy. It is almost over now. Soon the bridge will connect the two worlds, and there will be nothing left but Alepnacha and its horde. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Uh, reality is interwoven. In the distance, untold horizons away. Stars glimmer and burn with the power of countless other worlds. The shimmering strands of web all around you pulse with the same light. This agenda gets plus four doom threshold, so that's 11, 15. Yep, and we're at 12 of 15. Thanks, okay. doom on locations. My card. Spiders. Dang. My card. My card is caught in a web, which I am just going to ignore with forewarned. Please do. Yeah. I knew it was I knew it was coming, and I was just like, I'm gonna forewarn you, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um so you should go first because maybe we can get one more investigator if you yep, go to this and location. Then you just take her out. And I just run over there and nuke her with a clue. Sounds good. So I can move one, two. Yeah, so I can only chance one more either way. So since I can only chance one more either way, I should You might as well safe. punch these. Yeah, Dude. and so I'll just commit this and fire up the gun and go six to one. They're all dead. They're you all killed dead. them all, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you press hold right click while you're doing that, and then it'll slide underneath. Ah, look Bear, at that. It's, Weirdly satisfying. <laughs> it is. I like it. <laughs> and then I will right. move and reveal an investigator and uh, uh, decoy. Nothing. Decoy. And you got to test brain. Uh, choose discard a card for each point you fail by or place a doom on the location. Okay, test brain. Um, pass. You did it. Good. All right, my turn's very easy. I move twice. Boop. Boop. Then I take three and three. Now oh, whatever. Uh, and I drop a clue and nuke her. She's gone. And the All act right. advances. The act advances. Falling down. The creature thrashes about violently as its webbing is ripped apart. The shimmer fades from the bridge's threads. In the distance, the cosmic array of lights winks out of existence. Star by star. The spider's pained screech is deafening. You're not sure if it would be possible to kill a creature with such as this, but you have done more harm to it in destroying its life's work than you could have ever done with bullets and blades. As the woven threads of spider silk unravel, this realm's many suspended platforms of rock crumble and collapse into the endless ether below. You struggle to find something to stand on or grab hold of. Without the support of the web bridge, the entire dimension collapses all around you. With a final desperate screech that echoes throughout this world between worlds, Atlatnacha plunges into the eternal darkness below. You are quick to follow, R1. All right, R1 reads, You clutch a silken thread, the only thing keeping you from plummeting through the endless depths of the void. That's it. Uh, the bridge was destroyed. We each earn victory X value of the victory cards in the display, which I believe is seven. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Yep, cool. And then we get nice. five bonus experience each. So Whoa. we just got, we just got, yeah, a lot. Twenty-four total. Whoa. Um, and then we resolve the topmost option that apply, applies. Since we found a way out of the underworld, in the distance you see the tower. You can see the tower that loomed behind the spider god as it spun its web. The entrance beckoning you closer. You recall that the tower of Koth in the underworld. And the way to its surf the way to the surface. Is this the root of that same tower? Does it penetrate through this world between worlds? If so, you might be able to escape. Instead of climbing back the way you came, you swing your web from side to side and make a leap through the void, landing at the base of the tower. Then you begin the long climb up, above the surface of the sea of pitch. 
under the ground below the city of the Gugs, then farther upward still. Finally, after miles and miles of restless travel, you push aside the stone slab at the top of the tower and you emerge in the enchanted wood. You seal the entrance behind you. Nothing from the hellish underworld can follow you here. For the first time since entering the dreamlands, you breathe a sigh of relief. Recalling the first chapters of Virgil Gray's story, you follow the narrow path through the woods until you reach a, stone, a staircase of solid stone that ascends into the clouds. It is time to return home. Uh, we record that the investigators return to reality. We each suffer two physical and two trauma uh, from the fight with a spider god. And then we go to the epilogue. So quick question before you do that. Sure. Because I'm following along in the app, and it's saying that because we're trapped in Atlatnacha's realm, it cancels out that we found a way out of the underworld. Why are we trapped in Atlatnacha's realm? Because Randolph betrayed us. And we didn't. Uh, and he was survivor. I don't know. I'm kind of not sure which is the correct result now because we because both of these conditions are met. And the app is saying, "Oh, you didn't meet the first condition," but we totally did. I might have just not marked it. Maybe that's what happened. I think you just didn't mark it. Yeah, because so if you have the way out, then you can't get trapped. Yeah, I mean, because I guess we that don't follow. Yeah, we we don't follow the. He didn't. He sealed us. He sealed the way that we came in, but we have a different way, right? I think that's what happens. I think you just didn't uh, include that. Yeah, I think I just made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, because Nyarlathotep's invasion has begun and the investigators return to reality, we get Epilogue 2, um, which I think is Scarlet Keys next, but we'll get to that in a second. So you've made it back to your world. I hope you had a pleasant trip. Yes, your erstwhile companions are awake once more, but they're not the same, are they? Of course they're not. They might not remember their dreams, but that does not mean they did not happen. Do you not see the glimmer in their eyes? Have you not noticed them whispering to some other entity when you're not around? Yes, that one. You know of whom I speak. Don't worry, you at least have some time before the end. Just remember, I did warn you. Uh, okay. We were reunited in the waking world, or were we? And we averted one form of disaster, but not the other. So, mixed bag. Hmm. <laughs> and then we get to go to... Yeah, so we are going to resolution. Since we got epilogue 2, I'm just going to pull this up to make sure I got this right. But I'm pretty sure that means uh, we will be going to Scarlet Keys. Next, which is weird. Um, but also, we got 12 experience each here and three experience each in the last one so we and have also 15 experience. I saved two so. and also you save two um do we have any story cards in these decks uh yeah i mean randolph carter he's not in my deck he got removed <laughs> <laughs> and the silver key would have been that's right yeah. you, do, you, you have to take the cards to the end right technically yeah, randolph would... carter was he still in the deck when we did the last round and the other side or no yeah, no, because he got killed in at the end of the resolution of the other one. He never betrayed us, but that's because he was killed when we were getting there. <laughs> okay, so we failed on that front, which is, I guess, a shame. But I guess we'll just buy. It looks like so we can afford three new investigators. Is what I'm hearing. Yes, and we are proceeding with the Scarlet Keys, and at some point during that campaign, we must play the Fortune and Folly standalone scenario, or we lose the challenge. So that's something to remember future us when we go back to play Scarlet Keys. We gotta play Fortune and Fall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, um, you can say it now that I was right and this <laughs> We had <laughs> extremely <laughs> we had extremely good luck this scenario. Like Well moving extremely fast good. moving fast certainly helped because it kept the skulls down. But yes, this was definitely the best run I've ever done in this scenario. We just yeah. destroyed it. We had actions to clear. We had like, what, seven bonus actions? There was only one we didn't get. And That's insanity. It and it was. Been a person, it would have been a person. Who would have been? Who would have been? Ashcan. Would have been Ashcan. That would have been cool. Oh, well. We got three parallel investigators. We're going to get three more each. We're yeah. reloading our investigators. That's what Dreamlands is supposed to do. So. Yeah. 
It costs us cool. two extras, so yeah, it should give us refunded investigators. I like that. It, it's it's refunded us a lot. That was mm-hmm. a ton. Um, yeah, that was a ton. That was good. Yeah. Uh, right. But yeah, we got we got extremely lucky in this scenario. Even like just getting like the heavy dooms, the doom locations in the first part, and then we didn't uh-huh. get doom on the last one. Like these yeah. were our these were our uh, ones that we got in uh, up front, and it was just like, yeah, this is a high shroud, and you put doom on it probably when you enter it. This is a high shroud, um, or this is a low shroud, but you probably mm. put doom on it because you end up there. This is a high shroud, yeah. and you put doom on it when you enter it. Like we got. So lucky yeah. getting those in the first part and then just being able to make it past. Like if we hadn't been able to make it past, that would have really hurt us. But yeah, that was some huge luck there. Um, and then like, look at Web Woven Island. Web Woven Island. <laughs> Great web. But I already had all the stuff to get free clues by the time we got down there. And then web, the Great Web right here, the Web Woven Island. Again, it's just this enti- the entire direction we went was just these one shroud locations. So it was so easy to just kill a lot of there. Yeah, it was that yeah. was absolute insanity. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Very, very good run of the scenario. Did it say we won the campaign or no? Uh, it's a mixed bag uh, it's a mixed because bag. Uh, Lola and Jenny did not hold up their end of the campaign towards okay. the end there. So it's half a win. It's half a win. Yeah. Okay. Because I feel like because yeah. uh, we've not had a win in a campaign since Night of the Zealot, so I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to hold on to something positive and be like, yeah, like a win somewhere. <laughs> just just treat them as two individual campaigns, and we won this one and lost the lost the other one. That's that's all right. That's I'll how we do that. And like, yeah, it was good. That was a lot of fun. I yep. still think that. If, no, I'll get into this later. We'll, we'll get into, we'll get into later. it later. We'll get into it later. All right, I think yeah. we've uh, talked long enough, but we will do our retrospective episode, and then we'll probably take our little break as per usual. And uh, until the, uh, until next time, though. Stay out of danger. <laughs> <laughs>